I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Chugs the little engine. Ooh, what's under this flap? Quack, quack. Ducks. <laughs> Hi, everybody. The little engine that could. Let's count. One, two, three. Anyway, why am I in a bathroom sitting on the toilet or the commode, as they say in, in uh, Europe, I think? That's what they call it. Um, I'm here to review a sh crappy gadget and give it a fro pick rating. Uh, I'm instituting the fro pick rating out of five now. What do I have here is the Visible Dust Arctic Butterfly 724, made in Canada. Everybody knows I love Canadians. I love Canadians. I may not like this gadget. So I bought this gadget. It's in a box, in a bag, in a box. And here's the gadget. What is it and what does it do? Well, it helps get rid of sensor dust on your sensor. What is sensor dust? Well, sensor dust is when you take a picture at a higher aperture setting and you see it in the sky or in a light area, a grayish looking shadow. That's sensor dust. I started to notice a ton of it on my D3 at the time uh, when I was shooting with the flash and it was at like 5.6, f8, and it looked like somebody just went with dust all over my sensor. And I was like, what the hell happened here? I can't have this. I can't have all this dust. So I heard about the Arctic Butterfly, and I figured I would buy one and try it out. So I bought it. It takes two AAA batteries, which I hate anyway. It spins and vibrates for her pleasure. And I, so how does it work? You do this three times, you let it go for 10 seconds each. With the camera in sensor clean mode, you go ahead and gently swipe one way, go like this out of the camera, swipe the other way, put the mirror back down, take a picture of the sky, and see if you got rid of the dust. Now the first time I did this, I did a before picture, and I did an after picture after I used it, and it was a world of difference. But I wanted to go further, so I tried it again. And what happened is I noticed that I started to get sensor smudge. I can look right here and see that there's black stuff on both of these sides of this brush. What is that? I read, I learned that if you touch the side of the, uh, the box inside the camera, you're going to pick up a lot of crap, like flakes of uh, the back of the lens from taking it on and off. There's pieces that fall back there. So from touching the side, if you go ahead and do this with the sensor again, you could get smudge. And that's exactly what I got. I got sensor smudge in the corner. And the more I did it, the more I got upset, the more I was like, I shouldn't be doing this, but maybe let's try one more time. And then I just gave up and I tried the proper method, which is what the companies do when you send your camera back, is you get a sensor swab, which is a one-time use, uh, lint-free, whatever it's made of swab, the proper solution to use for your sensor, basically, you put the two drops on the set on the swab, go one way with it on the sensor, take it, rotate it, go the other way, thank you, and then your sensor is clean. That's the best way to do it. You know, it's a scary thing to do yourself. There are companies that do offer it for you, um, but that's what I liked. So really, this visible dust thing, I'm going to keep it in the bag for that random what if I need it to clean something. And that's about it. So what am I giving this out of the fro picks? Where is my... Fro there it is. One fro pick out of five. One stinking fro pick. Because I don't like it. That's it. Jared Poland, fro nose photo. Crap gadget, visual dust, sensor swab, no, visual dust, arctic butterfly, I'm out.